Hey, what's up guys? This is episode 34 of a series where we examine the cut content, design, and development of Fallout New Vegas. In today's video, we're taking an in-depth look at the new California Republic. This is the NCR's cut content. The road to hell is paved by the bleached bones of privates that fell by the wayside, boys. To begin, let's talk about Camp McCarran. There was once a drill sergeant training recruits in an obstacle course, but they were patched out in an update. There's some unused push-up markers nearby, which means there is going to be an additional training sequence as well. This unique sentry bot once patrolled Camp McCarran's interior. It's unknown why it was cut, but it must have happened relatively late in development, as it's shown in the official guide. There's an unused player line where you could ask Colonel Shu about what happened at Bitter Springs, but his response is unfortunately missing. During the quest, I put a spell on you. The courier can frame Private Crenshaw for blowing up the monorail. There's an unused alternate player line where you could tell him, I'm going to pollute the ventilation system with the stinking corpse of an NCR private. Eventually, the line was changed to this terrifying presence exchange. Really? That's great. I was getting so sick of this. Holy Christ, get, get away from me! There's a cut NPC named Ranger Gomez. This character is completely different from the Ranger Gomez at the NCR safe house. Her dialogue implies that she was guarding the monorail during the quest, I put a spell on you. There is also Gojira. This massive fire gecko god of Japanese cinema is by far the most powerful enemy in the game but was never actually intended to appear, thankfully. He was created by one of New Vegas' animators and used to attack Camp McCarran. And I gotta say, it's a good time. If you had a mixed faction reputation with the NCR, they were intended to treat you differently. If you slept in a bed in one of their outposts, they'd wake you up. They'd also stop you from buying goods from their vendors. There's extensive recorded dialogue for this behavior called limited access. This is not a market, sir. You need to improve your reputation with the NCR before you're welcome in our outposts. You're walking on thin ice with the NCR. It's time to decide where your loyalties lay, friend. Until then, don't expect any hospitality from us. The NCR isn't in the habit of letting loose cannons like you just wander our bases. I suggest you move along until you decide where your loyalties fall. Get up! You can't sleep here! Move on! Interestingly, the Legion equivalent of this is in the game. When the player has a mixed reputation and leaves the fort, a Legion messenger gives the player the location of a drop box, and they pay you to continue working for Caesar. If FNV had a longer development cycle, perhaps the major and minor factions would have had more unique behavior depending on the player's reputation. There's an entire class of NCR mercenaries that are never used, as well as several NCR ranchers. While these were just generic NPCs, they would have made the Mojave feel more immersive and a little less empty. There is also a cut trooper named Sergeant Warren Jacobs, but there's no telling what she was involved in. Kill me. Kill me. In the no man's land between Camp Forlorn Hope and Nelson, there were once injured NCR soldiers placed near landmines. Memory limitations required Obsidian to delete content from the core game to make space for the DLCs. A patch for dead money removed all of these injured soldiers, one of which had a unique note. As a result, it became impossible to obtain. 
During the quest, Anywhere I Wander, the player saves NCR hostages from the Legion at Takata Cup Mine. Private Reynolds, the quest-giving NPC, has a few unused player lines. Most notably, armed, look at these biceps. There's an unused character named Batters that was also meant to appear here. All the remains of the NPC are a few placeholder lines of player dialogue. It's possible this NCR soldier was another hostage, or perhaps an early version of Reynolds. There's a cut quest called Jailhouse Rock. There are four cut NPCs linked to the quest, Les Fretwell, Trooper Willis, and two other NCR soldiers. Each of them has unused dialogue. Hi, I'm Fretwell. Fretwell again, brah. Freddy of 30. Yo, I'm Willis. Trooper Willis to you, punk. Me again, a-hole. Why not? Henchman number one, yeah. Henchman number two, bro! Les Fretwell was meant to spawn near the NCR embassy, but after this quest was cut, he was moved behind it and disabled. So little is left over that it's difficult to speculate on how the quest would have played out. The title is a reference to an Elvis song, so perhaps the kings were somehow involved. The two quests that follow this one, VMS 27 and VMS 28, were both also cut. Nothing remains from either, so there's no telling what they were about. During the quest, Return to Sender, the courier travels to all six ranger stations and upgrades their security codes. Then they investigate false intel reports at ranger stations Alpha, Echo, and Foxtrot. However, the other ranger stations have variables for this investigation as well. There's also six items that were meant to act as alternate methods of completing these objectives. Only one of these items actually made it into the game, the GBRM2KX memory chip, and it appears in the inventory of a Robobrain near Ranger Station Delta. Ranger Payson mentions nothing about this Robobrain, but they're allied together, and attacking it will piss him off. The official guide even mentions that the robot belongs to him. Further, Payson is missing most of his dialogue, and it was probably related to whatever was actually going on here. It seems like all of this was an attempt to flesh the investigation out into more than a fetch quest, which is essentially how it appears in the final game. Interestingly, this was by design. In a Formspring post, Josh Sawyer commented on the quest, stating, The ranger stations are located around interesting areas, so the primary gameplay enjoyment was intended to be derived from the exploration required to reach them. If you've already discovered all ranger stations and done everything around them, not likely. That's a problem. But then again, if you've already discovered the stations, you can fast travel to them. Ranger Station Foxtrot was meant to have more going on too. An unused super mutant ranger named Chauncey was meant to appear here. Josh Sawyer revealed what little we know about the character, commenting, he was a super mutant ranger posted at Foxtrot, primarily because of its proximity to Jacobstown, much like the ghoul rangers are posted at Echo due to its proximity to Searchlight. He was supposed to wear a standard flat rim ranger hat of normal size, i.e. comically small on him. There's also a bunker at Ranger Station Foxtrot, but it's disabled. If we enable it, we can take a look around and explore. There is nothing noteworthy here, but it's still pretty cool to check out. There is also a cut quest here, and at least part of it probably took place in this bunker. It's centered around two cut NCR soldiers, Private Biggs and Private Harcourt. While the NPCs and their dialogue no longer exist, Enough player dialogue remains to give us an idea about their quest. Apparently, Private Harcourt had notably bad luck, to the point where she's considered jinxed. 
One of Private Big's player lines seems to imply that Harcourt's luck is so bad, it's endangering the other soldiers. Likely because of this, Biggs was planning to quote, get rid of her. It's unknown if she was planning on killing Harcourt, or perhaps simply having her discharged from the NCR. The player could then offer to take care of Harcourt for her. Beyond this, it's difficult to speculate further, but this quest would have made the ranger stations more memorable. Finally, we're going to talk about Boulder City. There's an NCR soldier who was meant to be named Private Hastings. Seemingly due to an oversight, her name was input as NCR Trooper. There are also two additional workers who were meant to appear here, but both were cut. Each NPC has a line of dialogue that was cut along with them. Well, 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 look what walked in. Nobody around here is hiring if you're looking for work. These changes would have made the NCR much more interesting. Ultimately, though, all of this was left on the cutting room floor. <laughs>